So we're working with a right angle triangle. You can see that AC, one of the small sides, is 6, and that the long side, the long side is 13. The long side's always opposite the 90 degrees. So we need to find the length BC and give the answer to correct the three single figures. So what we're going to need to do here then, um, the side BC will equal the square root of the large side squared subtract the small side squared. And that's how we need to do it. It comes from the formula c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And what I've done is we've got the large side. Rearrange the formula to say that b equals the square root of c squared minus a squared. So we need to put this through a calculator. So we'll do that next. And that comes to 11.53. Don't bother really with the other dots. Now that 3 tells me that when I round it three significant figures, my answer will be 11.5. On to part B. PQR is also a right angle triangle. PR is 17. PQ is 25. We've got to find the angle RPQ. So the angle we're trying to find is at P. So I'll mark that in. Now, in relation to the angle at P, we've been given the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. And we're trying to find this angle X here. I'll mark that in X there. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that's a cosine uh, ratio. So our answer will be cos minus 1, if we're going back from the ratio to the angle, 17 divided by 25. Okay, some people... Well, I've taught, I've made the mistake of thinking that the angle's always down here and that's the opposite side, but we're working with the angle at P, so we're working with the adjacent side. So I merely need to tap cos minus 1, brackets 17 minus 25 through a calculator, and remember to round to one decimal place. That comes to 247.155 and some more decimals, but we really just need this one to help us round our first decimal up because of the 5. So the answer then is 47.2.